Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of courses staring at a very beautiful GT3 race car of the new M4. We're doing a little bit of grip to drift. I got a little bit of surprise for you. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all which you found in the description box below. Let's get to it. So like I said, we're doing a bit of a grip to drift here in the this brand new M4 GT3 race car with the Fanatec wheel on the car, which I would love to get my hands on the real Fanatec one that they make for my Fanatec, but unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. So we're rocking the BMW shoes, of course, and the Fanatec system, but this M4, the new M4 GT3 definitely a very cool looking car in real life they did great styling with the new m4 gt3 to kind of get rid of those big center grills that a lot of people were having problems with but then was growing on me the way the new 4 series and everything look is definitely growing on me this m4 gt3 though is definitely a fun car and this is something i've been wanting to get my hands on here in a set of corsa because i have it in iRacing. racing I've driven it in iRacing and it's a lot of fun to drive and now it's whoop, in a set of Corsa getting a little bit squirrely but we're uh, not doing too bad in the car for the first lap out on cold everything Let's see what traction control setting we're at probably didn't need to brake super hard right there we are at mid Ohio Raceway which is a track that is uh well, kind of close to me because, you know, living in Ohio, this is oh, getting a little squirrely. That's not the drift that I am talking about. So we're going to be doing something special with this car. And I'm super excited about it because you all know we got to drift in this in this game because we have this game in order to drift a set of Corsa and drifting is what this channel is about. Started back with Horizon 3. And now we're in a set of Corsa. So, I'm going to run one more. Okay, okay. That's not the drifting I was talking about, but <laughs> we got a little sideways. So, definitely crazy to see the detail in this car. I believe this model was taken from the actual iRacing model, and this thing is super gorgeous. And I'm having a lot of fun driving it. Racing is something that I'm, I plan to do a lot more of. And I'm going to be bringing back my Twitch channel for non-drifting and stuff like that. Off, you know, off of content stuff. I was able to hold that. Such as Call of Duty and other things that I do play, Cyberpunk, and doing racing and doing racing series with my friends. So I will, once that all gets back up and running, I'll let you guys know. And, you know, you'll be able to catch me on Twitch live doing some off-drifting stuff for you guys. Some other content we are sliding. So, we're going to use that as a slide to slide in. Let's do it. As you can see, the car looks slightly different. We got a real st an actual steering wheel and everything in there, not a race wheel. So, uh, I say grip to drift. Well, this car is set to drift. So, we're just going to go full send with it, as you can see. We have a manual trans now, and we have no trash control. Oh, first drifts of this car. I think we bring it to Mid Ohio also. Kicking it in. We have a handbrake now too. Definitely uh, on the low side for sure. But this thing is rowdy. Definitely something crazy fun. And oh, only a four gears. Forgot about that. Throwing the underglow and everything on, you know, because drift cars like to party with underglow. So that's there. So we're going to go into this section. Handbrake in. A little bit of understeer. The tires aren't warmed up yet. All the crackles and pops from this car. That big old exhaust on the passenger side. 
Ooh, 34 is a e-brake grab. Oh, the car's not that tall, so it's definitely uh, a very low car. Did not do too much. Keep forgetting we don't have a fifth gear. We may have to change up our gearing to get a little more speed for this track, but the car is nasty. Definitely a fun car and something totally different, and you would expect nothing less, I believe, from me when I say, you know, grip to drift. I think we need to uh, hop to pits and actually uh, change up our gears, get a little more speed in this car. Let's go back to pits, go to gearing. Oh yeah. Let's get uh, a little more speed in this car. Oh, that's better. Kick it in. We got this. We don't got this in the grass, though. When the tires are not really warm, this car definitely slides a lot when the tires are not warm. So something extremely different that I'm super excited to be, you know, oh, scraping, be bringing out into my fleet of drift cars because we all know I got some crazy cars, but this, you know, working for BMW and, you know, getting this car up here in a set of Corsa and sideways is definitely a lot of fun. And I am excited to do more with this car. the cracks the car is definitely amazing if you guys like this and you guys want to see more of maybe this type of content you know these grip to drift cars because this is definitely a full blown out gt3 race car turn drift car and i'm having a lot of fun with it one thing i did realize is there's still a we got a little floating number above our above our steering wheel. But it's nice to have a rear view camera. You can see who's all behind you and getting doors with you. Get that big old handbrake in there. I tweaked my neck function, so now there's a little bit of wobble with the steering wheel, which I feel like I want to turn back off because I'm not too fond of that doing that wobbling thing. But... Ooh. Don't go off track. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something totally different for you guys. Keep forgetting we don't have five gears. Something totally different for you guys. Make sure you follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below. I forgot that was a turn there. We're dead. Oh, we died. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.